Yeah, it says right there. Do hills give anything? Mm hmm. Plus 10. Interesting. All right, so I could go up in admin tech. I'm about to gain a bunch of territories. Ah, oh, but this is innovative. And I gain innovativeness for doing this. And I'm kind of stacking it already. We have 7.5. And it's 1458. <laughs> I'm going to hold out. Because we're going to have to coral or Granada when we get, once we take it. I'm going to guess that vassalizing this stuff is probably not the best plan. So doing that would piss off Granada. Pfft, who cares? Uh, yeah, that's totally doable. Okay. So after this, we just need to keep the Ottomans out of Naples. Do the Ottomans start with any combat bonuses? Discipline only. Okay. Doable, if we outnumber them. Better than Navarra ship bonuses without port. Now you're a little bit bitter about that, aren't you? Naval force limit plus 20%, light ship cost minus 20%. I mean, those are nice bonuses, but you're right. They do kind of need a port. Ooh, we got a cardinal. I didn't realise we already had to. So, what point can I do these? 50. Or the stability at 100. And Kelnon just died. Fantastic. I'm going through generals so quickly. Guess we'll have to hire another one. Alright, so this is going to be somebody else. Uh, Lyrie Korg. I'm definitely going to need to know how to spell that. Uh, L Y R I C O R G. Okay. Um. Your minimum pips are three, and I just rolled a three. Lai, re, Korg. Better. Still not amazing. We are ahead of time in military, so I can afford to try and roll better rulers. And that's still only a level f 5 pips out of 9. Uh, that'll do. So I need... Whoops. Split one of you out. Select. Good. General. Go there. He has a lot of shock. That's the main reason I decided to keep him. That's three out of three. We have two Lyra Corks. Mm. This is why I really want to be able to rename generals. Meanwhile, the Ottomans still fighting Hungary. <laughs> there are too many Cardinals. There needs to only be seven. They have to all be French. I am glad you remember that. Minaman has the same problem, at least in the area they're fractured. Not that hard to get a coast versus having to fight Aragon or Castile. Or France to get one province. Yeah, this is true. This is very true. I was a little bit surprised that they gave Hormuz such a big coastline. Comparative to the others. But I must admit, I know nothing about the history of that era. That area. Yeah, Renaissance is still trying to spread. How's that doing? We've got it in Messina. It, no, sorry. We've got it in Palermo. We're going to get it in Messina soon. It's taking a sweet time getting to those. And it's actually spreading over to here now. Um, you know what, Valencia, let's put you onto institution spread. Ah, uh, sure, put you on as well. 
Which will mean that we're earning less money from trade because we just lost 50% trade power. Good grief, these sieges are taking so long. It actually looks like Hungary is fighting back a bit. Come on, do it. Yes! This is a minus two. I have more morale. We have the same discipline. I have a morale advisor, a power projection, I have army tradition, and the last jousting tournament. They have victory assured. Victory is not assured. Let's leave one other unit in there just to make sure. Castile are no longer considered a great power for the second time. They are really not considered a great power. And with that, the whole of Granada has fallen. Actually, the Ottomans are down to medium. Interesting. Well, I think that it could be up, could be high time for a couple of naval shenanigans. Hmm. Okay, they've pieced out over there. So yeah, I'm going to move my fleet here. Actually, I'm going to move it to Naples with the ne Neapolitan fleet. Because I am worried about these guys coming in to join. So that's their transport fleet. And they're going to start transporting in over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to start collecting our armies just to make sure that we can fight the Ottomans as they try to land. Hopefully we can force enough military victories that they peace out. Or they try to land in Aragon, in which case I catch their fleets en route. And they'll be too far away from the 23 stack to defend themselves. They can transport 13 at a time. I can transport 9. Yep, yeah, that's what they're going to do. Okay. Let the transportation wars begin. Although we don't admittedly know where they're going. So I'm fairly confident that they're going for Naples. Uh, we're going there. I will admit to being curious. Oh, you went home. You decided, nah, actually this is a terrible plan. Now they're loading less troops. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and drop a bunch in Naples. Oh, we fought some rebels. Okay. Where are your transports going? Are they just trying to move people from here to here? It kind of feels that way. Because I'm perfectly happy just to wait this war out. I've got my war goals. War score is a ticking. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. A gift to the state. Good governance would sometimes prompt the nobility and the businesses of the realm to donate cash to the treasury out of pure patriotism or in exchange for sales or the transfer of honorary titles and positions. Gain prestige or gain money. I'm going to take the money because I don't know exactly what I'm going to need to pay for. Also, I think I'm now going to take this idea. I still get innovativeness for it. Bish. And we now have prestige decay. Okay. 
I'm sitting there. Alright, troops are starting to cross again. Need to wait until I see their troops trying to move out of... Oh, no. It's moving back around there. I don't know where they're going. Seventeen. Tick tock. Tick tock. Mr. Griff, I just bought the game and I'm overwhelmed by the interface. Uh, um, I do have a getting st or um, what's it called? Yeah, it is a getting started tutorial, which you can find over at youtubecom slash Viking. In fact, I'm going to be very nice to you and I'm going to try and find the link for that myself. That should help you at least get to grips with how to get started in the game, and then you can go on from there. And don't be put off by the fact the tutorial is an hour long. That's just because I do waffle a bit. That was an early tutorial. I wasn't as good as what I do now, then. So go on over there, check that out. Um, hopefully it helps. And if not, if you have any other questions, uh, just let me know here. And I'll do what I can to answer. Does the CK2 to EU4 converter let you convert from any time in EU4 or do you have to play to the end of the game? No, you can convert from any time, I think. My biggest advice, uh, Mr. Griff, is play as France. As France, it doesn't matter if you screw up once or twice. You are so big that um, it's difficult to fail. And France is also in a fantastic position to do basically anything. If you want to practice your trade, you can do that. If you want to be aggressive, you can do that. If you want to play a more diplomatic game, you can do that. If you want to do colonial, you can do that. Um, so France is a really good choice to starting out. And unlike a lot of other strategy games, playing a bigger nation is actually better than the smaller ones because the chances of your colossally screwing up are much lower. Like, they, they have space to fail. They, they have space to um, screw up a few times. Well, if you're playing as somebody small, like Lubeck, fail once, that's it, you're out. 9,978 subs. We are getting closer. And yes, if you have not yet subscribed on my YouTube channel, then please do consider doing so. I really want to hit 10,000 subs by the end of the year. And it's still a bit close. May not make it. You probably will, but just in case, if you have not subscribed over there, then please, please do. It would be a massive help. It does kind of look like the Ottomans just aren't interested in invading us. Oh, no. Now they're moving. Now they're moving. We'll see if these guys wake up or not. Oh, no. They've decided to pack up and go home. <laughs> what? You're expecting us to actually fight something? Hell no! Thank you, Kurjax. Appreciate that. Strange how there are no farmlands in Spain with the update, aren't there? Grasslands, grasslands. Huh, you're right. I mean, this central area is still pretty good with uh, grasslands, and so is this coastal bit. Quite a lot of dry lands. I mean, it's not terrible. Granted, farmlands are nicer. Yeah, it is a little strange that they don't have farmlands. Alright, now where are you going? Over there. That's even further away from reinforcements. You're just making this easy for me. 
And you're trying to get away again. Where are you going? Arrive in Cote d'Azur. You're going that way. Well, then I will go this way. Where we will catch you. A long way away from these. No, seriously? How did you get away from me? Border friction. Across the country, there's outrage that we would ally with a nation who holds provinces that are rightfully ours. Uh, put a positive spin on things. They really don't want to fight my galley fleet, do they? How many loans do I have? Have a have a guess, Mike. Have a guess. Oh, we have no diplo advisor. Um. I think I'm going to stick with the morale of navies, chap. Eight. Any other advances on eight? And by advances, I mean up or down. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Tarian C. Let's go this way. Gulf of Valencia. You're going further away. Barbary Coast. Gotcha. Can't get away from me here. 6th of June. 2nd of June. Got you. Boom. And they've not moved. Excellent. So this is my 17 galleys versus their 7 light ships and 13 transports. They have absolutely no galleys guarding this fleet at all. And their galley fleet's not budged. We sank five of their ships. Didn't capture anything, but I'm okay with that. Naval victory is a naval victory. Makes them feel bad. Aww. Then let's head home and do some repairs. Also, I think I'm probably safe to have you protecting trade in Genoa again. 32, 10, 5, 0. I'm afraid that danner has got it. I have... Oh, I do have a... I have two loans. I didn't remember I had loans. I was so confident that I had zero. <laughs> well, Danner still wins. It's the closest. Syndicat Remensa. The nobility in the Aragonese Empire have begun to strictly enforce the rules that tie the peasants to the land, and this combined with a stricter enforcement of seigneurial rights in general has led to unrest amongst the peasants. The poorest peasants strongly support open rebellion, while the better off favour appealing to us for reforms and the end of the seigneurial abuses. It would be an excellent opportunity to gain the support of the peasants, as we are a constant power struggle with the nobility. Suggestions have been made regarding allowing the peasants to form a syndicat remensa, or a peasants guild, a primitive trade union which will grant them more liberty. So we get increased decentralization, which decreases unrest everywhere, but there's a lot of autonomy. Or... Oh, for the rest of the game. Ignore the peasant rabble. Um... The autonomy change modifier, I think, is just generally negated by the base. Yes, it is. Actually, quite significantly so. Well, by point zero point zero two five, Which will be overcome by the fact that we have a national idea which actually counters that. And then local manpower modifier. I have a lot of mercenaries, so manpower is not necessarily the end of the world. And that gives us a permanent unrest, more importantly, a permanent 0 0.2 goods produced. That's a lot. And is this... Oh, it's not regions, it's, it's literally just provinces. So it's in Urgell, which produces wool, which isn't amazing. It's in Zativa. Which produces paper, and is actually quite good. And it's in just those two. Oh no, and Valencia gets it. Ooh. And we know that Valencia will eventually get silk. Yes, I will allow you to do that. Because we're going to get a 0.2 from that and then another 0.25 bonus from the silk 
mission. Forget this land of Aragon, go colonize America. Well, the colonial game would have been Portugal, had people chosen Portugal. This is definitely going to be a trade game. And I'm already at war with the Ottomans. It's 1461. What more do you want? Mosaic, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. And Squirrelicious, welcome also to the channel. Good to see you both. Uh, oh, we can get another innovativeness gain at the moment. Again, gonna hold out. Oh, here we go, 100%. The Ottomans have not done enough to stop me. Yoink! Now, question is, do I have any... Pff, barely any. War exhaustion. In that case, call the lot. And Aragon has grown larger. Right, so I need to get my armies home, I think. No, I'll still do this manually. Whoa, where are you going? Go here. Play something challenging like Ming. And with that money I can pay off a loan. Bish. Head back over there, grab those, and we can start drilling with you. Because I would very much like to build up my professionalism levels, think of it a much. Also, how is the institution spread going? So I could now embrace but I don't think I need to. Not until those, or at least diplomatic, has reached maximum. Uh, rightful ownership. Of late, one of the subjects has seen fit to remind us the tensions caused by us owning, owning land in Syracuse. So I cede Syracuse to Naples. No! You mad? Right, jump in a ship. Head over here. You're drilling? You're drilling. Let's say get expansion at some point so you can get a port to pirate the new world. I'm not a pirate though. Why would you think that of me? Wasn't I going to vassalize them? No, I was questioning whether I should. But they're Islamic, which makes them difficult to manipulate anyway. And nobody got particularly pissed off that I annexed the full lot, so I just annexed them. That was more me talking to myself saying, should I do this, rather than I should do this. Not a fan of the Tunis Morocco colours. They've been those colours as long as I can remember. Quite a long time. Yeah, I do need to take Mercia so I have a contiguous border. Um, Mercia, maybe Cadiz later on because it is a, so actually it's a center of trade but in the wrong place mercia is the only one that i would need just to have those borders and to rob them of their mediterranean trade there really isn't very much i want from mainland spain i have everything in aragon already or in uh, genoa rather okay so you can merge up what is the military force limit <laughs> it's 27. um uh, maybe I should have some more troops. Nah. Not yet. And yeah, I could do ship hunting, but... Yeah, I really ought to. Right, so let's split out the galleys. Wait, were they called galleys? They were called galleys. Let's split out the transports in that case. Grab the galleys and go hunt pirates. Genoa. I really do think that this should give... Uh, maritime tradition. 
naval tradition, seeing as it's actually what the Navy does? Hunting pirates? The end of the Peasants' War, the instability of the past few years, seems to be over. We no longer have to worry about the peasants fighting for reforms. So England finally stable? Maybe? Right, and you can just go ahead and mothball in the capital, which should save me some monies. At some point, I still would very much like to get a fort built here, but those are not exactly cheap, and I need to build up my economy a bit more. Sorry, I stepped away. Uh, how to see? Yeah, I answered that already, Katie. Um, no, you don't need to wait until the end of the game. It will port over in whatever state it is, and it will still always start in 1444. So you could play with the borders at the start of the 700, well, the uh, Charlemagne start in EU4 if you really wanted to try that. Uh, we are already coring, so yes, I would like to get empiricism for the additional innovativeness. And now any innov innovation gains that I get in the future will have 50% further added to it, which is really rather nice. And then after this, I think I do need to wait until admin techs up. But we also need to get the institution, so that's the thing. And the next tech is, oh, and the next idea is, yeah, the tech cost. Maybe I should let myself fall back a little bit in admin so that I can get the tech cost before getting admin. In time, many of the everyday occurrences in the life of the king and his predecessors became the subject of ceremony. Being able to attend the bedroom of the ruler as he dresses, for instance, is considered by many to be the best way to gain the ear of the king. An elaborate court life will certainly limit the power of the nobles to plot anything up against us in their countryside properties, but it could also prove to be quite expensive. Modest level. We'll let them lose a bit more loyalty. The nobles really haven't liked us very much. Holland is embargoing me. Ew, embargoes! Yes, that's a thing. Which I always forget are a thing. So I should be embargoing Castile, Burgundy and England. To steal, especially. Castile. Burgundy. And I still have a truce with England, so we can't do that. 